This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is one of the few residential key lockboxes I've seen with a solid steel key compartment. It's the Squire Stronghold Key Safe, and as far as material selection goes, this stands out compared to the light zinc castings used by the majority of its competitors. When compared to this similar looking master lock, the difference really becomes apparent. The Squire is made of steel and weighs in over three pounds. The master lock is made of a zinc alloy casting and weighs just under one pound. Unfortunately, the locks do have something in common. They can both be decoded and opened without any tools. I showed how to open this master lock in video 966, which I'll link below. So let's dive into the Squire. Now normally, I'd start the decoding process by resetting the combination to a random number. Unfortunately, that's not possible with this lock. Changing the combination requires you to insert this tool into the tiny holes between each number on each of the dials. You can then turn the wheels to the new combination when the mechanism is open. Since I can't do that blindly, I asked Mrs. Lockpicking Lawyer to reset this for me before starting the video. You'll just have to take my word for that. So let's get to decoding. I'm actually going to turn the wheels using this little screwdriver just so you have a better view, though you don't have to use this. I'm going to pull out on the bolt while turning each of the wheels and looking for a loose spot. I can, this is definitely a gate, but I can still feel it rubbing, so it's probably a false gate. There we go, that one feels a little better. Another gate. That one's definitely rubbing. That's in a gate, but rubbing, so probably a false gate. That feels like a true gate. That is a gate, but it's also rubbing, so not the true gate. Oh, there we go, got it open. The combination is 21597. Okay, folks, this Squire box is certainly a step ahead of its competition when it comes to construction. But as you saw, the locking mechanism could definitely use some help. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.